With advancements in AI tools, there are more cyber dangers, making it harder for organizations to stay safe. In 2023, 78% of companies had data breaches, costing millions of dollars, and this trend is expected to increase. AI is being used to make cyber attacks more powerful and complicated, changing how we think about cybersecurity. From small-time hackers to big government groups, using AI for attacks is becoming the norm. In this video, we will explore eight cybersecurity threats for 2024. Number one, narrative attacks. One of the biggest cybersecurity threats for 2024 is the rise of narrative attacks that leverage disinformation. These attacks are designed to twist the truth or completely distort a message to undermine its credibility and sow doubt. With advancements in technology, it's becoming easier and quicker for these sophisticated misinformation and disinformation campaigns to spread. Narrative attacks are particularly dangerous because they aim to shape public opinion and influence people's behavior. In 2024, these types of attacks are expected to be especially common as 64 countries are scheduled to hold elections. During election times, narrative attacks become a favorite tool for nation states looking to disrupt the democratic process and create divisions among citizens. A clear example of this is the efforts by Russian nation state attackers who have used narrative attacks to stir political dissent concerning the debates around the Mexico and US border. Through spreading false and misleading information, these attackers attempt to manipulate public perception and create conflict within the affected countries. With the election fast approaching, the threat of narrative attacks means that governments, organizations, and individuals must be more vigilant than ever. Number two, deep fake manipulation. Deep fakes are becoming a major concern because they can be created quickly and cheaply with today's technology. Using powerful computers and advanced AI algorithms like generative adversarial networks and autoencoders People can make realistic audio and video that look and sound like real humans. This technology has become even more accessible thanks to popular mobile apps that can change someone's appearance with just a few taps. The main goal of deepfakes is to create convincing imitations of people, which can then be used for harmful purposes. For instance, deepfakes can create fake identities that criminals use to commit fraud or spread ransomware. They can also lead to the loss of valuable data and intellectual property. Some have even used deepfakes to manipulate stock prices or damage the reputation of brands and individuals. This not only affects companies financially, but also harms their relationships with employees and customers. Furthermore, deepfakes can spread false information, making it hard for people to know what's true and what isn't. To combat the threat of deepfakes, we need sophisticated algorithms that can detect when audio and images have been manipulated. These detection tools are essential for identifying deepfakes and stopping them before they can cause harm. Number three, nation state espionage. Spy satellites and high-tech tools are increasingly becoming important weapons for countries. According to the Council on Foreign Relations, in 2022, 78% of cyber attacks by countries were all about spying. And by 2023, this spying goal grew even more, reaching 82%. This means that satellites, those things that float around in space, are becoming a big target that needs protection. In April 2023, after Russia attacked Viasat during its invasion of Ukraine, the Cyberspace Solarium Commission told the White House to think of space as super important infrastructure. This was because satellites like the ones Viasat uses got hit and that's a big deal. Later in 2023, German scientists pointed out how vulnerable satellite technology is. This got a lot of attention because satellites are crucial for things like communication and spying. So we have to make sure they're safe. With all this going on and the world changing fast, people are taking a closer look at how satellites are made and used. They're trying to make satellites that can bounce back from cyber attacks and keep doing their job. This starts with having a strong system to keep the supply chain safe, including both the stuff on the ground and the stuff up in space. Right now, about 6,718 satellites are zooming around Earth, and by 2030, there could be as many as 58,000. That's a lot of stuff floating up there. But here's the thing, it's not just about having more satellites, it's about making sure they're safe from cyber threats. 
Number four, software supply chains. Companies and projects are becoming more attractive to bad actors who want to cause trouble by targeting widely used open source packages. They're using sneaky tactics, like putting harmful programs into the source code of AI software, which makes it hard to stop them. When they mess with software supply chains, it causes a lot of chaos and makes it easier for attackers to demand ransom. Different groups like nation states, cybercrime gangs, and advanced persistent threat groups are always trying to attack software supply chains because they're often the weakest part of a company's defenses. Surprisingly, a lot of businesses, about 91%, have been victims of software supply chain attacks in just one year. This shows how important it is to have better protection for the systems that continuously update or deploy software. In an attempt to break into the supply chain of AI software, attackers might try to exploit different parts of the process and the tools used. For example, the security breach in OpenAI's ChatGPT happened because hackers found a weakness in the Redis open source library. So protection against attacks means we need to secure every piece of the puzzle from the software used to the way it's all put together. Number five, artificial intelligence. The rise of AI technology is creating new dangers that we need to be aware of. As AI tools become more advanced, they give attackers better ways to manipulate systems and people. For example, the latest AI tools can find and exploit weaknesses in computer systems, which allows attackers to carry out attacks or launch large-scale phishing or disinformation campaigns. This means they can trick people into giving away sensitive information or spreading false information more effectively. One of the big concerns is defending against specific AI techniques like prompt engineering and prompt injection. These techniques can be used to manipulate AI systems to extract sensitive data repeatedly, with more companies using AI-based apps like Microsoft Copilot, Salesforce Einstein GPT, Claude from Anthropic or Perplexity, the risk of such attacks increases. However, this makes it even more important for organizations to be vigilant. They need to watch out for more convincing fraud schemes and look for weak spots in their systems. Number six, social engineering. Social engineering is still one of the most dangerous hacking methods used by cyber criminals. This type of threat relies on human mistakes instead of technical weaknesses. It's easier for hackers to trick people than to bypass advanced security systems. In social engineering, attackers aim to get employee information and login details. They often use techniques like phishing and email impersonation to accomplish this. For example, they might send fake emails that look like they come from a trusted source, asking for sensitive information or login credentials. These emails can be very convincing and hard to spot as fakes. With the help of artificial intelligence, attackers can make their scams even more professional and believable. AI allows them to create more realistic-looking phishing emails and impersonate others more effectively. AI can help craft messages that sound more genuine, analyze large amounts of data to find the best targets, and even learn from previous attacks to improve future ones. Because social engineering exploits human nature, our tendency to trust and our occasional lapses in judgment, it can be incredibly effective. Even well-trained employees can sometimes fall for these sophisticated scams. This is why social engineering remains such a powerful tool for cyber criminals and a major threat to businesses and individuals alike. Number seven, IOT attacks. In recent years, the number of smart devices has grown tremendously, both in businesses and in homes. These devices, known as Internet of Things devices, are all connected to the internet. They constantly send and receive data, which can be very useful, but also creates some risks. One of the main issues is that many people and companies do not have the best practices for keeping these devices secure. This lack of good cyber hygiene, combined with the fact that all these devices are online, makes it easy for cyber criminals to find and exploit weaknesses in the devices, the networks they are connected to, and the software they use. Because of these vulnerabilities, cyber attacks on IoT devices have become much more common. Hackers can take advantage of these weak points to steal data, spy on users, or even take control of the devices. This rise in attacks is directly linked to the increase in the number of IoT devices and the lack of proper security measures to protect them. It's important for everyone who uses these devices to be aware of the risks 
and to take steps to secure their smart devices. This includes things like regularly updating the software, using strong passwords, and being cautious about what data is shared online. Number eight, configuration mistakes. Even the best and most advanced security systems often have some configuration mistakes. These mistakes can be a big problem. For example, in a study of 268 trials done by a cybersecurity software company called Rapid7, 80% of the external penetration tests found a misconfiguration that could be exploited. This means that many security systems have weaknesses that cyber criminals can use to their advantage. These configuration mistakes make it easier for cyber criminals to find ways to break into systems. Many experts believe that in 2024, cyber criminals will focus more on targeting hybrid cloud environments and multi-clouds. These are systems where a company uses a mix of different cloud services. The main goal of these cyber criminals will be to find and exploit configuration mistakes and identity flaws. They will try to move across different cloud services and gain more access by taking advantage of these weaknesses. To prevent this, organizations need to secure their cloud resources properly. This includes managing identities safely and rigidly, which means making sure that only the right people have access to the right parts of the system. Organizations also need to constantly monitor for any suspicious activity inside their systems. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.